Welcome to the Water Genie instruction video. The Water Genie gives the luxury of a real shower in your own bed. Your Water Genie will consist of the following equipment. Water Genie unit, bath, inflatable pillow, transformer, filter, inflator, shower, several filler hoses to fit various taps, waste hoses, Filling the unit. Bring the water genie to the water supply, such as the kitchen. Never try to move the water genie up or down steps when full. Plug the transformer into a socket. Never pick up the transformer by the leads. Then unwrap the power cable from the water genie unit and plug it into the transformer. Warning, at all times, keep the large transformer box out of the wet area. Switch on the Water Genie. A bleep will sound, letting you know the system is responding. The Water Genie is supplied with a choice of fittings. Find the correct one and connect it to the taps. Push the other end of the filling hose into the silver connector on the back of the Water Genie. Press the Water Level button. This will bleep and continue bleeping throughout the filling. Turn on the taps and start to fill the system. It is important you feed the hot and cold water in together. There is a temperature indicator on top of the water genie to help you feed in the correct temperature. Body temperature is indicated when the last amber or first red light is illuminated. If all the lights are lit, this indicates 40 degrees, which is hot but will not burn. Anything above this, an alarm will sound and a safety cutoff will not allow water out of the water genie. Once the tank is full, the beeping will change to a constant note. Turn off the water taps. Press the water level button to turn off the bleeper. Disconnect the tap hose. Unplug the mains plug. Wheel the water genie to the patient's bedside and plug into a plug socket near the bed. Connect the waste out hose, which has no filter, to the bottom left-hand socket of the water genie and place the other end in convenient drain. Preparing your patient. You can use the water genie with any mattress. Lay the bed flat. Place the folded bath onto edge of the bed waste pipe down. Unfold the bath, making sure that the inflation valves and the waste hose are nearest to your side of the bed. Roll the patient onto their side. Roll the shower tray close to the patient's back. Roll the patient onto the shower tray. Unroll the shower tray the other side. Roll the patient back into a neutral position. Same technique as inserting a sling or changing a sheet. Fit the waste in hose, which has a cream colored filter. Ensure the arrow on the top of the filter is pointing to the water genie socket. Set the switch on the right-hand side of the water genie to inflate. Plug in the inflator at the rear of the water genie. Place the nozzle of the inflator into the lower of the two inflation valves on the bath. Turn on the inflator's white switch and inflate the lower section. Once inflated, disconnect and insert the inflator into the second valve and inflate the upper section. Inflate the pillow. Then disconnect the inflator completely. Adjust the profile of the bed for the comfort of your patient. Showering. Switch the water genie to the shower function. The waste pump starts. Press the shower pause button on the top left hand side of the unit to start and stop the shower. Wastewater will be sucked straight out of the shower tray to prevent buildup. After running the shower for approximately six minutes, the low level bleeper will sound, letting you know there's about three minutes showering time left. This sound lasts for 15 seconds. Finish bathing your patient. Turn off the water genie. Deflate the bath by pulling out the stoppers of the inflation valves. One carer should dry the patient while the other dries the bath. Roll your patient toward you and roll in the far side of the bath. Place a dry towel on the bed and roll your patient onto the towel. Remove the bath from the bed. Dry and dress your patient. 
tidying away. Disconnect the Water Genie unit from the shower tray and roll it to the drain. If there is any remaining clean water in the tank, release this down the drain. Disconnect the waste hose and drain any fluid in the hose down the drain. Unscrew and clean the cream-coloured filter. This must be done after every use. Wrap the shower head around the cable tidy and the power cable for easy use next time. Dry the shower tray, then clean with clinically approved wipes. Refold bath. Store folded bath and hoses. Troubleshooting. During filling, the low level alarm may sometimes be triggered. This will sound an additional constant note. This is due to low water level and will stop once the water covers the sensor. If the unit does not work at all, please ensure the plug is fully inserted into the socket or try another socket. If the water level sensor does not work, please check and replace the battery in the back of the unit. If the shower is filled, the lights are working, but it won't shower, or you can't hear the pump, or there are no lights illuminating on the unit, please check the black plug that goes into the transformer. Simply turn off and unplug the unit from the wall, then unscrew the cover on the black plug and check that all the wires inside are properly connected, or replace the fuse. If the waste pipe won't suck the water from the bath, Ensure the cream filter is clean and correctly assembled. For any other issues, please return the Water Genie to your supplier for a service or replacement.